Ladies and gents, today I'm going to be showing you how to install the 7 days to die Project Z overhaul mod. And I'm going to show you how to do that real quick, okay? Alright, so this is going to be for version 2.1 to make sure you're in version 2.1. Just go to your Steam homepage, library, go to your 7 days to die, go to properties, betas. And make sure your beta participation is on version 2.1. If it's not, go ahead and just change it to that. And it will go ahead and update the files and needs for the version 2.1. Alright, and once you're done with that, just go to installed files. And go to browse. And we're going to want to make sure that we have a mods folder. If you already have existing mods in this mods folder, you may want to rename this folder to mods dash dash old or something that you can indicate that it's an old mod but if you don't have a mods folder just go ahead and make a new mods folder or yeah mods folder called mods with a capital M just double click into that bad boy all right and now we're gonna go and download the project Z overhaul mod which you can find at seven days of die mods or in Nexus mods I prefer Nexus mods just because I've been using it the entire time but I will put a link down below in the description and you want to make sure I mean if you don't know what this overall mod is about they do have a little description here it has some armor balance better quest rewards better stacks big inventory bosses contracts crafting ammo decoratives elite zombies fear and fatigues game balance with HUD a lot of things so it's pretty much an overhaul big big overhaul all right and you want to go to the file sections and do a manual download all right and if you don't have the premium you'll be doing the slow version so just hit the slow download and go ahead and download it all right once you do have it downloaded just right click and make sure you do have 7-zip downloaded that way you can um, extract the files and I'm gonna do extract files yeah I'm just gonna extract it right there once you do have extracted you're just gonna double click into it copy this and then go back to your mods folder and just paste it in here all right and what it should ultimately look like is just this it should have the project Z free 2.1 and all these configs once you have that you're you should launch you should be able to launch the game okay now we're at the loading screen let's do new game I uh, we're gonna do this test 3 now I've been testing around with this okay we are cooking yep the mod loaded up correctly well hopefully this has helped you as it helps me uh, I am still pretty new to this mod but I do plan to do a series, so please feel free to check it out once I do release it. But anyways, hopefully this helped you out. Enjoy and cheers. I'll see you in the next one, alright? Take care. Bye-bye.